All right, guys, so the question is, can you or anyone you know switch to a Chromebook? And even if you could, would you want to? Well, recently my mother-in-law needed a new computer, and up until this point she had basically just jumped from whatever cheapest Windows laptop was on sale and used it until it broke, usually about a year. And then she would repeat the cycle. So, when her most recent laptop died, I was tasked with finding her a replacement. So I asked her all the things that she used her computer for and what she expected it to be able to do. After talking with her, she basically explained that all she really needed to do was browse the web, Facebook, access her email, etc. So I figured a Chromebook would be a win-win for her with a generally cheaper price and extra battery life. So I did some research and ended up buying her the HP Chromebook 14. It was $249 at the time of the purchase, and now, depending on configuration, $200 to $300. So let's talk about the good. The laptop is incredibly light and does not feel cheap. It has strong battery life, like really strong. Unlike the 2015 MacBook Pro that I recently purchased for programming, this laptop has an advertised 8 hours of battery life and it actually gets that much. It is rather impressive. It operates like a conventional laptop, and only very slightly. It is missing a few keys on the keyboard, but the big difference is the operating system. Unlike a more conventional laptop that uses Windows or OS X, this laptop uses Chrome OS. The OS is super lightweight and is very snappy and responsive, even running on the limited hardware of this laptop. The main advantage of this is that because the OS is not requiring that much power, you can use cheaper and less battery intensive hardware that will allow for greater battery life and equal performance. The keyboard has decent travel distance and does not feel mushy when typing. The trackpad is also nice and big and has no issues so far. In addition to being light, cheap, and having decent build quality is the perceived performance for the price. One thing that I noticed immediately is this thing boots up fast like stupid fast and once it's on it has great speed and never gets hot or thermal throttles there are a few drawbacks though with chrome os almost being entirely based on web applications you will certainly need an internet connection although not having an internet connection on a windows based pc can be just as limiting so unlike windows all of your programs are simply icons that open things within chrome there are a handful of apps that are locally installed, like the calculator and the calendar, but 99% of things you do on Chrome OS are within the Chrome browser, which leads me pretty well into the conclusion of this video. Who is it for? It's for people who already do 99% of their activities on the web browser, which is a surprisingly large amount of people. A very large portion of people, especially older people, do not do much outside of their web browser. Facebook, email, browsing the web, Google Docs, all are within Chrome. Most people can totally get away with only having Chrome OS and therefore could live with just a Chromebook. It's not for everyone. I could not do it personally since I do video editing, programming, and gaming. But for a lot of people, they will end up spending $600 to $800 on a laptop for school when all they really needed was a Chromebook. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you guys have suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to learn more about the Chromebook HP 14, there's a link in the description. Thanks.